little asparagus. Just gonna set a few of those here right along the sides. Red potatoes. Throwing a couple in there. Oh my goodness, this one pan dinner is by far one of my all time favorites and you can already see how easy it is. I think this is probably good for the potatoes right here. That looks great. Here I have some pesto butter discs that I made that I'm just sticking right on the salmon right here. And all it is is pesto mixed with butter. If you've never tried it, I would suggest it. It is so delicious. So I just lined my salmon here with this pesto butter that's just going to drip all the way down and it is going to be yummy. Of course, we can't have salmon without some really good fresh lemon. So let's go ahead and place some lemon all right here on top of the salmon. You guys, look how good and colorful this looks. Oh my goodness. Topping it off with a good squeeze of the lemon. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I love the smell of lemon, yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of dill weed. We are going to sprinkle all over the top, you guys. I don't know if you've ever tried dill with your salmon, but it is to die for. One of my favorite seasonings for this fish, most definitely. Now we're gonna come in with just a little bit of olive oil and really only to like do a little bit over top. I just want it to touch onto our potatoes and just a little bit onto our asparagus right there. I know it's so moisturized and it's gonna be so good and the salmon is gonna be nice and juicy. A little bit of salt pouring that in my hand and I'm just gonna drizzle that on the outside here to hit those potatoes and that asparagus. I don't care too much to get too much salt on my salmon, but if that's your thing, of course that's okay too. And a little bit of black pepper. Wow, this is just such a great family dish right here. I always feel super healthy and good eating this. Look at how beautiful that looks. You have your veggies and your salmon. This is a healthy, delicious dinner that serves enough for your whole family. And we're gonna stick it in the oven at 425. We're going to put it in for probably about between 35 and 40 minutes because this is a really big piece of salmon. But I'll let you know how it goes and stick around and see how juicy and moist the salmon is when it's all done. Our salmon is done and every single thing in this pan looks so amazing, you guys. It smells good. That pesto butter smells amazing. I can smell the dill, the lemon. Oh, and this is what I wanna see right here. Uh, look at how juicy that is. Oh, it's cooked so good. Yum, I am starving and ready for dinner. You guys, this is just like the easiest situation here to throw together. Look, we got our potatoes and we got our asparagus here. This nice big piece of salmon all thrown just in one pan. Ooh, I wanna look at that. It just pulls right apart. Wow, that is amazing there. Let's give this salmon a try. Is salmon one of your favorite? Salmon's one of my favorite fishes. Is it one of yours? Ooh, it's kind of hot. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna go for it, cause, you know. Go for it. <laughs> the best salmon that you're gonna even make. I mean, honestly, better than anything I've even had in a restaurant, you guys. Get a big enough piece of salmon so it gets moist enough Throw some butter on top, put some pesto on there, some dill, throw your veggies, potatoes in the pot, pan. Honestly, whatever you want. 
In fact, I would love to hear your twist on this dish and uh, maybe we can make it even better. I don't know because this is for sure a winner right here. Mm, I'm gonna be enjoying this.